Okay, welcome back to video number three uh, in a series of videos on how to build a classified ad style site using WordPress and more specifically the Classy Press theme. My name is Adam with UploadWordPress.com and in the last video what we did is we finished an o our overview of the Classy Press theme settings and uh, we uploaded this custom logo here and then I quickly while I was offline I uh, created this banner ad for the right hand side this 468 by 60 banner and uploaded that uh, right here so I now have the uh, header area customized how I want it right now um, so the next step would be to start adding our categories and I've already added a few here before I st uh, started this video but I'm going to show you how, I d how and where to do this in the admin right now um, so as you can see if I scroll down a little bit you'll see add categories and you can see I've already started those um, this can be right here is a top level category then these are our uh, children category uh, categories of this parent category here under adult costumes we have men's costumes sexy costumes and women's costumes same thing with uh, teen costumes is a parent category and then these are the uh, ch uh, children or child categories, however you want to say that, preteen costumes, teen co uh, girl costumes, and teen guy costumes. Okay, so let me show you, I'm going to finish setting this uh, ad category section up in the admin. So if I go ahead and log into the WordPress admin, and under, on the left hand sidebar here you'll see ads. Okay, go to ad categories. Don't get this confused with Normally, you know, in the WordPress admin, you have posts, and then there's categories. Well, with the Classy Press theme, the actual blog, which there is a blog built in right here, it's completely separate from um, from the ads. Okay, they're two different things. So this blog still have its own category, its own posts, and they're set up the same way. But Classy Press builds a whole second uh, level, I guess, of the same type of functionality. So the ads have their own categories. So on right here you see ads and ad categories which are going to show up here oh, down here which gives you know site users when they when they go to fill out the form and uh, create a, a classified ad uh, they get to choose where they want their classified you know what what uh, ad, uh, category it falls under so uh, ho hopefully you get the point on that but just keep in mind they're two separate things posts and ads are completely separate from one another so we're going to go ahead and set up the ad categories. So under ad, just click on ad categories. And you can see here that I've already, like I showed you out on the site, set a bunch of them up already. Um, but uh, we have more to set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I have a guide over here on my other screen as far as what categories I want to set up. So um, the next one, so I've already set up adult costumes. And then I, I created the children categories of men's costumes, sexy costumes, win, women's costumes. I created a parent category of kids' costumes. And then I created a few uh, a plus size costume parent category. And then a teen costumes parent category. And then some ch uh, children or child categories underneath that. Um, all right, so next thing I want to do is I want to create a top level or parent category called um, costume accessories. So just go ahead and say costume accessories. So this is, as you can tell, this you know this is the exact same process as adding, you know, normal categories if you're just doing a a normal, I guess, WordPress site. And when you create these uh, classified ad, you know, classy press themes, you're going to want to uh, create the categories, the ad categories, a big part of it as far as how you lay the site out. You want to really take some time to think about how you want your categories to lay out. And, uh, you know, if you want to have, uh, because you want to make it as user friendly as possible, you want to try to think from a site user's perspective what categories would you expect to be on the site based on what the site is. For example, so this is a, a costumes you know website where people it's a, it's a marketplace classified ad site for people to buy and sell all types of costumes, mainly Halloween costumes, but really all types of costumes. So I want to kind of keep it as generic as possible, but still create as many. Uh, categories is, is so that it makes sense to the user, to the end user, where they can say, for example, if a if a woman wants to sell um, a costume, uh, a Halloween costume, w let's just say like a a pirate costume, 
she'd be able to, she would easily when she goes to create her ad you know go under adult costumes and then women's costumes or if it's a men's costume men's costume put it there so uh hopefully that makes sense but but really think about your cos about your uh categories your ad categories before you create them all right so anyways back to what i'm doing here costume accessories i'm creating a new top level or parent category called costume accessories so parent none because i want it to be a top level and then just click on add uh new ad category and here you can see is my new top level category and then I want some uh, categories underneath that or children category uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a few of those let's just say shoes and boots shoes and boots okay and again I want this to be a child category of the costume accessories so here I'm going to go ahead and select costume accessory accessories as the parent and then click on add new ad category and there you go you can see it right there that it is a child of the costume accessories category I'm going to create another child uh, category here let's just call this one jewelry and parent, uh, yes I want it to be a parent category of the costume accessories and add a new category. Alright so I mean you can just keep going down and doing this there's no limit to the number of categories you can add um, and it's really important before you start creating categories you should really I would even write it out on paper um, and map out how you want your categories to lay out how you think it'll make the most sense when a user uh, a site user logs on and sees you know the site here sees these ad categories you want it to really make sense quickly to them so you know map that out first before you actually start adding them but then when you are ready to come start adding them go in the admin and go to ads uh, and add categories and, and start uh, creating the categories I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back okay so I finished um, adding all my categories for now I might add some more later but for now, uh, I have the ca uh, categories that I want. You can see them here. Um, so, and again, just a piece of advice: uh, it's uh, important to you know map these out before you start adding them in the admin. It'll just make it a lot easier. So, again, uh, to add the uh, add categories, just under ads and then add categories. So, set those up. Next thing I would l I want to do is I'm going to create a few pages. Uh, I'm going to create an about us page, a contact page, and probably a rules page that kind of explains the rules of the website um, and how you want it to work. Um, and uh, you know, if you need help with the rules page, just refer to this website after watching the video, and you can you'll get a good idea of what to put on that page. So what I'll do now is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and create those pages. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and created uh, my pages. I created an about page, a contact page, uh, a rules page, and then a privacy policy. Um, and then the next thing that we that I would do from from this point is I would probably go ahead and create a Twitter account and a Facebook fan page. I'm not going to record that. I will just I'll just do that uh, after I'm done with this video. But uh, that's what I would do next um, because I would insert the uh, if you go into the Classy Press settings, um, like I showed you earlier, I think in the first video, there's a field for the uh, for your Twitter username right here. So I just go ahead and paste my Twitter username in there, and then a Twitter icon would show up right over here, uh, up in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Okay, so um, so you know I go ahead and do that. I create my Twitter page, and then I would also create a, a Facebook fan page because. Um, there is a Facebook um, uh, widget that they have that uh, would go on the on the uh, widget right sidebar here. So, in the next video, what I'll do is I'll show you how to customize or how I like to customize uh, the sidebar, and then we'll start creating some uh, some ads, some dummy ads, uh, so that you get a feel for how the site actually works from a user's perspective. And we'll probably have to end up customize, make creating a couple of custom form, or creating a custom form and a few custom fields um, uh, for this actual form for uh, creating a classified ad because uh, you know it's pretty. This is a pretty specific niche classified ad site, and the fact that it's you know costumes, we're going to have to 
change a few things from the default form. So we'll do that in the next video. But before I go there, um, I never I, I want to just kind of show you um, one of the things that's kind of cool about the theme. So uh, I'm logged in right now. As you can see up here, there's a link to my dashboard. Um, so let me show you kind of what uh, the user is able to do when they're logged in. So up right here, they'll see welcome back. You can click on um, manage ads or edit profile, or you can just click on this link up here. And again, this is from the uh, user's perspective. Um, let's say they're logged into their account. You can click on my dashboard up here. And then, you know, they get an overview here of their dashboard. It shows how many ads they have live. Right now, we just have this one dummy one that's there by uh, default. And then, but they have the uh, the ability to update their profile and add an uh, you know profile and image and add all the inf their information as much as they want. So let me just show you that quickly. And this all just comes built into the theme. You don't have to you know set any of this up. But uh, it's pretty it's pretty uh, it's pretty neat what they can do in here. They can share as much information as they want. Um, you know, give some information about themselves. They can add their email address. They can add. Uh, you know their Twitter profile, their Facebook page, their PayPal information, you know, whatever information they want. So it's pretty robust. It's pretty cool. And that, again, that's in the My Dashboard section. That's from a site user's perspective. So um, we'll cover that again uh, in the, one of the following videos. But so really, in this video, what we did was we focused on setting up the uh, the categories. And again, the only piece of advice I have when setting up the ad categories is to map it out first so that it makes sense from a user standpoint and then just go in the admin and start adding them so um, alright that's it for this video I'll see you in the next one